Fatima was very excited. She was going to fast for the first time in her life. She had always watched her parents and older siblings wake up before dawn and eat a meal called suhor. Then go without food or water until sunset, when they would break their fast with a feast called iftar. She had always wanted to join them, but they said she was too young and needed to grow up first. But this year, Fatima was turning nine, and she felt ready to fast. She had asked her parents for permission, and they had agreed to let her try it for one day. They said it was a big responsibility, and a way of showing gratitude to Allah for all the blessings he had given them. They also said it was a way of empathizing with the poor and needy, who often go hungry and thirsty. Fatima was determined to fast the whole day, from sunrise to sunset. She wanted to prove herself to her family and Allah. She wanted to feel closer to her faith and her community. She wanted to experience the joy and peace that fasting brought. The night before, she prepared her clothes and books for school. She also helped her mother cook some food for Suhor and Iftar. She went to bed early, feeling nervous and excited. She woke up to the sound of her father's voice, calling her name. It was still dark outside, but she could smell the food in the kitchen. She got up and washed her face, then joined her family at the table. They ate dates, yogurt, eggs, bread, and cheese. They drank water, milk, and juice. They prayed together, asking Allah to accept their fast and forgive their sins. They also made dua for their relatives, friends, and neighbors. Fatima felt full and happy. She hugged her parents and siblings and wished them a good day. She put on her hijab and backpack and walked to school with her brother. She felt a surge of pride and confidence. She was fasting, just like them. At school, she met her best friend, Aisha, who was also fasting for the first time. They smiled at each other and exchanged greetings. They went to their classroom and sat down. Their teacher, Mrs. Khan, welcomed them and announced that today was the first day of Ramadan, the holy month of fasting. She explained the meaning and purpose of fasting and asked if anyone in the class was fasting. Fatima and Aisha raised their hands, along with a few other students. Mrs. Khan praised them and said they were very brave and mature. She also reminded them to be respectful and tolerant of those who were not fasting and to avoid any arguments or fights. Fatima felt proud and happy. She listened attentively to the lessons and participated in the activities. She enjoyed learning new things and having fun with her classmates. She did not feel hungry or thirsty, even though it was a hot day. She felt a calmness and clarity in her mind and heart. She was fasting, and she loved it. At lunchtime, she and Aisha went to the library, where they read some books and played some games. They also talked about their families and their plans for Iftar. Fatima said she was looking forward to eating her mother's biryani and samosas and drinking her father's ruafsa. Aisha said she was looking forward to eating her grandmother's halwa and pekoras and drinking her grandfather's lassi. They both agreed that they would invite each other to their houses for Iftar one day. Fatima felt happy and grateful. She had a wonderful friend who shared her faith and her fast. She also had a loving family who supported her and cared for her. She felt a warmth and gratitude in her soul. She was fasting, and she was blessed. After school, she and Aisha walked home together. They said goodbye and promised to call each other later. Fatima entered her house and greeted her mother, who was busy in the kitchen. She helped her set the table and prepare the food. She also helped her younger sister. Fatima felt happy and helpful. She had a role and a responsibility in her family. She also had a bond and a connection with her siblings. She felt a joy and love in her spirit. She was fasting, and she was happy. Finally, the sun began to set, and the call to prayer sounded from the mosque. Fatima and her family gathered around the table, where a delicious spread of food awaited them. They thanked Allah for the food and the fast, and broke their fast with a date, as the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him had done. They ate and drank, savoring every bite and sip. They talked and laughed, sharing their stories and experiences. They prayed and recited the Quran, praising and glorifying Allah. Fatima felt full and satisfied. She had completed her first fast, and it was not as hard as she had thought. She had learned a lot and grown a lot, and she was thankful. Subscribe to my channel.